Welcome to the AFR Saints channel, where we provide you daily content on your favorite team, the New Orleans Saints. Do us a favor and hit that subscribe button. Be sure to leave your comments below and smash that like button. Who that? I'm certain uh, there are a lot of people who came to the show today uh, expecting me to talk about Derek Carr. Um, if you haven't heard the news, the Saints restructured Derek Carr's contract today. And this is the annual cap gymnastics the Saints have to do to get within cap compliance. They were some $80 million over the cap. And so we knew they were going to restructure a lot of deals. Yesterday it was Eric McCoy, which saved him in the neighborhood of $7, $8 million. Today, Derek Carr, which gives the Saints about $23 million in cap relief. And there are, no doubt, uh, more cap uh, gymnastics that will have to take place to get the Saints within cap compliance. Um, a little bit about Carr's deal. Um, actually, before I get into the numbers of it, I want to tell you how I, how I feel about it. <clears throat> a lot... It, a lot of people were expecting today uh, for me to come and yell and scream and rant about the Saints restructuring Derek Carr. But I'm not going to do that because I've already done that. Uh, at the time of the Senior Bowl, I believe it was Luke Johnson who had the report that the Saints were going to restructure Derek Carr's contract. At that point, I yelled and screamed and did all the, the, the temper tantrum thing you would expect about how the Saints can are continuing down this path. Now, I fully expected the Saints were going to restructure Derek Carr's contract. I was hopeful, however, they would not. And we'll get into the numbers and why it's significant here in a second. But it was two, three weeks ago that we learned this was going to happen. It's just that today it's now happened. It's almost like if you're a parent and your daughter gets engaged to a goon and you hate him and you you protest uh, their impending union and you let your feelings be known about how much you disapprove of this union, well, by the time the wedding gets there, you've spoken your piece and there's nothing more you can do except put on your suit, walk her down the aisle, and just go sit in the front row and be a supportive dad. Well, like, that's kind of how I feel today. Like, y'all know how I feel about this. I told you how I feel about this. Today's just a, Today's just wedding day. Today's just the day they restructured it. So it's like, if you don't want something as life-altering, what about like if you don't love your spouse's side of the family and you all decide you're going to go do Christmas at their family's Christmas deal out of town and you're going to go spend your entire holiday there and you object mightily, but you suck it up and go do it and then you just got to go live through it. Well, that's now. That's what today is. So, no, I'm not going to yell and scream about, the, about what happened today because... I've already done that, and you know how I feel about it. It's just now it's okay. Well, let's assess the damage. So here we go. Uh, the Saints had originally signed Derek Carr to a four-year, $150 million contract with $100 million of it guaranteed. The reason I was hopeful the Saints were not going to restructure, again, I think we always knew that this this was the, the high probability, but the reason I was hopeful was if, in fact, the Saints didn't restructure Carr and he stinks this year in 2024, they could have off-ramped out of the contract. You would have only had him for two years. Yes, you would have had to pay him the $100 million, but you could have off-ramped off, off of the contract where it would have cost you less to have Derek Carr not on your roster. Well, that's no longer the case. With the restructure, yes, you saved $23 million against the cap this year. But in 2025... Derek Carr's dead cap number is $40 million. Now, his cap hits 50. This is next year. This is 2025. So he's your quarterback for 2024, no doubt. In 25, his cap number is 51, but his dead cap number is $40 million. So you could say, well, you could cut him next year and save $11 million. You could, but you'd also have $40 million of dead cap money, which would be by far far a record number of dead cap money, meaning that's money you don't get to spend on players you know on your roster. So effectively what this did was meant was guaranteed you're not off-ramping off of this deal 
until at least after 2025. You have a minimum two more minimum two more years of Derek Carr. So if if you're a Saints fan and you're not convinced that Derek Carr is going to lead you anywhere, you got to like me. You just got to suck it up, grin and bear it for two more years of Derek Carr moving deeper into his 30s when even at his prime was maybe a borderline top 10 player at the position. Maybe you could have argued that his best. He ain't nowhere near that now, and I don't think he's going to get better into his 30s. That's just my opinion. But the Saints now have shown you what they're doing. They are committing to Derek Carr. So he's going to be your quarterback minimum two more years, and then you could off-ramp in 2026. Uh, for the 2026 season. But even if you do that, here's the gift that keeps on giving when you uh, approach the cap in the manner in which the Saints are. Derek Carr financially will be on your books until 2028 because they added two voidable years. I don't mean to bore you with all the numbers and the stats and everything. Just understand that even though Carr's contract would end in 2026, they added two more voidable years on the back end. So even if so, no matter what, Derek Carr is going to cost you seventeen million dollars in twenty twenty seven and five point seven million dollars in twenty twenty eight. Even if he's not on the roster, <laughs> like those are those are voidable years because they just put they put years fake years onto the end of the contract to put money there to spread it out even further. So uh, it's uh, the gift that keeps on taking from you. Actually, is uh, is Derek Carr in this contract? But the Saints have committed themselves to him. They're, what they're telling you is, we believe Derek Carr is our guy. We believe that Clint Kubiak will come in and maximize Derek Carr. We believe he's the guy that's going to bring us back to glory. I look at that and laugh. You all know that. I've spoken my piece about this. Well, today is just the day where they walked down the aisle and said their vows and exchanged rings and kissed, and then we all went to a reception where they had mediocre food and uh, you know, and, and drinks, and you, you drank some booze and danced to a DJ and then went home. That's today. So, awesome. We're stuck with Derek Carr. Um, but we already knew we were going to be. The other part of, uh, of today uh, with this news, and again, it's what we knew and, and expected, was this restructure. But it, it also uh, signs a, uh, shi- excuse me, shines a little bit of a light on, on Jameis Winston's future. So with Derek Carr and this restructure, it certainly speaks to Carr being your starter for a minimum two more years. Well, Jameis Winston gave an interview um, to, I believe this was SI.com. Yes, this is Saints News Network. And he was asked about it. Jameis was asked about his future. And this was, these are written quotes. I don't have audio. I'll just have to read the quotes for you. He said, quote, well, What's next with me is wherever God and whatever he has. I'm sorry? Do, wait, do we have the audio? the audio? Oh, we do have the audio. My apologies. Okay, my apologies. I'm sorry, Muse. Thank you. I, I didn't realize we had the audio. Okay. No, here it is. Forgive me. Okay. Um, pl- play number one. Here was Jameis. My apologies. Here was Jameis. It's such a, a love for this city that uh, I just admire the individuals and I admire admire the culture and integrity that this city possesses. However, you know, my goal is to be, and my my desire is to be a Super Bowl winning starting quarterback in this league. And right now, you know, that doesn't look like a very clear picture uh, with the New Orleans Saints. So Jameis is telling you, he, he's been in New Orleans for four years. He backed up Drew Brees. He had an opportunity to be the starter. He got hurt uh, twice, and then they brought in Derek Carr, and clearly the Saints have committed to Derek Carr as their guy. So Jameis is telling you he wants to be a starting quarterback, a Super Bowl-winning starting quarterback, and that opportunity isn't in New Orleans. So why he loves New Orleans and would like to be here, the opportunity to be a starter here doesn't exist. So it's hard to imagine him staying if there's another franchise that wants to give him that opportunity. One more from Jameis about his his role here in New Orleans. 
Uh, I've played every role that I could play uh, within an organization. And I'm always going to be an uplifting teammate, uplifting, you know, man throughout the building. However, you know, my heart truly desires uh, to be starting and taking advantage of the gifts and talents that God has provided me to be able to have this platform, to be able to to, to build a relationship with the community and uh, be able to inspire young kids and, and, and be able to uplift others. So that's my main goal, man. You know, I'm I'm still chasing my dream. Like I, I'm blessed mm-hmm. and grateful for the uh, opportunity that the NFL as a whole has provided me. And I just know that I want to uh, and I truly desire uh, to be back as a strong quarterback and win the Super Bowls. If there is a franchise willing to give Jameis Winston that opportunity to be their starter, then the Saints this offseason will be looking for a new backup quarterback behind Derek Carr, who today uh, it officially is clearly entrenched for at least minimum two more years uh, as the Saints starting quarterback. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Please leave your comments. I love to interact. And be sure to hit the red subscribe button below. Oh, oh, oh.